Holy There we go. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's freaking go. All right, good morning, guys. It is 5.09. You can hardly see here, but here's the fishing wall right now. My, all my rods, rod rack. Fishing man cave thing is, eh, I guess you could say it's coming together, but I'm gonna get all loaded up and it's time to go bassing, y'all. Got the old kayak here. I need to take the kayak out again soon. Take a second glance at the wall, see if there's anything I'm forgetting to grab. Nope, I guess we're all good. I know what I'm forgetting. I know what I'm forgetting. Ah, <sighs> my coffee. Oh man, that would, have been a, that would have been a bad deal. If you have not had peanut butter and jelly crackers, you're really missing out. Now we're ready to rock and roll. The old PT 175 is gonna put in some work today. All right, we gotta get some boat, or it's early folks. We gotta get some freaking fuel. So, cause we're gonna be running and gunning today. We're going to be running and gunning. I'm telling you right now, I don't know where they're gonna be. I have no idea. Water temperature is gonna be crazy high. But by, by now, I'm, they, it might even be in the 90s. I haven't been fishing in a week. Last time I was out, there was 87. We're just gonna have to find some cooler water. So, at this pump, we'll... come on now. Woo! Turn left on the State Highway 39 North. All right, folks. Heading to Kings River. We'll be there in just a couple minutes, right around the corner. All right, well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. We're out here on a beautiful, beautiful summer morning. Well, I say beautiful. It's actually super muggy. We've got the sun shirt on today because it's going to get hot. They're calling for scattered thunderstorms all day long, and it's just a hot, muggy day here in Southwest Missouri. But you know what that means? Top water bassin, y'all. Man, I'm I'm thrilled. I'm excited to be out here doing some fishing. We're down, we're up here in the Kings River arm of Table Rock Lake, just another home pond of mine. Local lakes, man. I'm just trying to just trying to catch a big one, guys. I didn't bring a single spinning rod with me. Not that you can't catch a big fish on a spinning rod, but we are specifically big fish hunting today. So, top water, jig, swim jig, crankbait, flipping stick. I mean, I've got all the all the ingredients to put a nice bag in a boat. Let's stop talking and let's get to fishing. <laughs> ah, I'm already seeing a decent amount of fish jumping up, popping around me. So I've got this cool little Berkeley popper on here. Bright colored. Water clarity is super clear up here. Let's go ahead and make our first cast. Pick the nice flatter bank, pebble rock bank, with some flooded trees in it. We'll start here. We're right at the mouth of King's River Arm. And then we may work out deep, deeper. So we'll start out here first, and then just work our way back in and, and I don't know, that's kind of the game plan. Keeping it really simple today. Keeping it really simple. about changing spots golly what a nice blow up that was holy crap on the popper stay pinned here he goes -hoo -hoo. good fish good fish good fish come here oh, nice First fish of the morning. Darn good looking largemouth. All right, first one of the morning. A little chunky bass, I don't know. Oh, man, what a bite, thank you, sir. 
Now I'm starting to see some busting fish around here. Okay. First cast, or not first cast. That's about 10 casts in. Starting to get a little worried, honestly. This bank's starting to get a little steeper and I think that's actually gonna be a good thing. Think about tying a spook on though, honestly. Gosh, there's fish around me. Why are they not biting? These trees put, good, put off good shade. I bet there'll be one underneath here somewhere. Oh, big blow up. All right, that's it. I'm oh my lanta. I wish you guys could have seen that. It's one of those big old freaking needle nose gar, I bet. There he was again, golly. All right, so we got a fluke tied on now. Just a little Zara Spook Jr. right there. I already feel a little bit more confident in this right here. I can work it just a little bit faster. Make further casts. It's supposed to be kind of a nasty day. High, high winds. Like, I think I saw 15 to 25 mile an hour winds with thunderstorms mixed in and just a kind of a nasty humid day but it's actually not too bad right now holy crap that gave me a freaking heart attack i thought that was my bait i just you got wind up freaking huge god these gar or whatever they are i don't even needle nose gar i really hope he doesn't take this bait, but if he does, that would be cool too. Anyways, if you guys watched my last video, go check it out. I'm not gonna tell you what happened, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but just know it has something to do with one of those freaking huge suckers. There we go. There we go. Finally. Finally. A little greeny not a big one not a big one pound and a half or maybe Whoop. cool finally another top water bite good little nice little large mouth it's like a 15 incher not bad that one came on the spook this time fun bite fun fun bite thank you sir all right. Cool, cool, cool. That's a sign. I guess we're just gonna keep on chucking this thing. If there's one, there's gotta be more, right? There's this little guy, little guy. Little bitty feller. Mouth? No, it's a mean mouth. Huh. Cool. Haven't caught a mean mouth in a while. Right? That's a mean mouth. Right? Take a look at that, guys. What do you think? Comment down below. Is this a mean mouth? I know the lighting's pretty bad, but... Huh. Pretty cool. Thanks, buddy. Shoop. Gosh, it's like every time I think about moving, I get a freaking bite. It's insane. I'm gonna make a couple more casts down this bank line and then we'll work my way back, a little further back into this, this arm here. Oh, another bite. Next cast. Oh, oh, two bites. How did he miss it? How did he miss it? Must have been just a little guy. If I can get one fish in every spot we go to, sick, so sick. Like that makes me one happy camper. We're, we're burning the bank today. We're bank burning. It's much calmer back here. Water's clear, a little bit cooler. Oh, 
Oh, big, oh, he got off. Gosh dang it. Oh, whew, huge bite. How did he get off? I'm not saying it was a giant fish, but it wasn't small. We're gonna head somewhere else. Not quite the structure that we're looking for here. Okay, made our way back up here and I think this breeze with this little ruffle in the water is actually gonna help things. It was really, really, really calm and water was super clean, almost too clean I would say. Just came back up here where we got those last few bites on the other side of the lake but same area there's that sunshine holy cow right here at the boat <laughs> golly it's a nice one too oh, that's a good one Barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Oh, holy crap, dude! That's a that's a big fish. Barely hooked. Look at that. It's gonna come right out. Oh my gosh! There's our three pounder, folks. There's our three pounder for you. That's a good looking fish right there. Right here at the boat beautiful fish thank you sir <laughs> yes that was sweet he ate that sucker right at the boat scared the daylights out of me yeah i've caught a few yeah been a been a been a fun morning uh bass yeah catching bass um, no, not necessarily. Just, I toss them back. Catch and release. Catch and release. Yeah, just, just out fun fishing this morning. Okay. Have a good day. Speaking of sweet, check out this freaking house up here. If that's not goals, then I don't know. Oh. I'm actually going to try one try something different here real fast try a good old buzzer last time I was out here fishing out on table rock about a week ago had magical if you haven't watched the last video go back and watch it I'll pop up a couple clips now for y'all oh. That was between six and seven, had an awesome morning, and it just shut off after after seven, so. It's 7.30 now and haven't had a bite in a while, so maybe this buzz bait will get them fired up again. Oh, big bite. Finally a bite on the buzzer. Finally a bite on the buzzer. I say big bite, it actually it probably wasn't a very big fish. Ducked it underneath, didn't didn't do anything with it. Finally a bite on the buzzer. Only took a hundred casts. Alright, I gave the buzz bait a bunch of casts. Did have one sniff, but that's not enough for me to stay that committed to it, so.
come out of there. Come out of there. There he is. There we go. Stay pinned up. Stay pinned up. It feels like a nice one. Oh, it is a good one. <laughs> yes. It's a big head. It's a bucket mouth. He's hooked. Kind of funky. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's freaking go. Oh, that gets me so hyped up. Look at that. Look at that freaking jig down his throat. Woo, buddy. Woo, -hoo -hoo -hoo, doggy. So this fish came from that big brush pile right there. Flip that jig up in there. And I didn't even have time to, to jig it one time. First time I jig it, I felt him. Shoom, got caught up in the brush. Let him go. Yes. Well, there's our five fish limit for you folks. Not a bad one. I was hoping to get it done before the storm rolls in because it's it's looking like it could be any time now. That's gonna do it for us, folks. What a day, what a weird day. Such a weird day. All right, folks, well, like I said, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, man, what a weird day, guys. Just getting caught in that storm. Uh, catching a few fish this morning, first thing in the morning. Had a great time doing that. Catching some nice quality fish. Caught that mean mouth. That's actually my first mean mouth of the year, if that's a mean mouth. Uh, Comment down below if you guys think otherwise. If you agree with me, comment, let me know. Um, just another fun day of fishing out here on Table Rock Lake. Fished a totally new part of the lake that I haven't been to in a really long time. Since last year, as a matter of fact. And it's different. It doesn't quite have the structure that I was looking for. I'm sure it does, but I'd have to make a long, long, long run. And I just wanted to fish where I was and just fish a whole bunch, make a whole bunch of casts. I didn't want to have to run around too much. Uh, just because I knew today was a short day, like I said, it's noon right now and we're about to go pack it, our stuff up and load up and uh, go enjoy the rest of today with the family and whatnot. I hope you guys are able to get out, do some fishing, uh, enjoy life, enjoy family time. Uh, like I said, I'm so appreciative of you guys for watching today's video, for supporting the channel. Uh, go back and watch the last couple episodes because it, we've... We've been having some pretty good luck, pretty decent luck with some decent fish out here on the water. So go back, watch those videos, comment on everything, give these videos thumbs up because it helps me out. If you want to support me in any type of way, that's how you, that's what you can do to support me and the channel. Uh, but as far as everything else goes, life is good. Life is good. Caught five fish, not very many fish today, but it would have been enough to hold a pretty good bag in a tournament for this time of the year anyways um so i don't know it is what it is guys something's busting up right here uh but anyways guys that's gonna do it um thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode <laughs>